Tobacco existed in Kentucky long before the establishment of the Commonwealth. Native Americans utilized tobacco medicinally and ceremonially. Settlers brought it with them to central and eventually western Kentucky. Until the late 1920s, Kentucky produced more tobacco than any other state. It is still the largest producer of dark fire tobacco, which is where Jimmy Elder comes in. He likes to say he was born under a tobacco leaf. This is a stencil. Whenever the company would buy tobacco at the auction barn, they would uh, mark the baskets, and then they would take it to the warehouse, and the companies would uh, put it in burrows and age it for three years. And they would take these stencils and they would mark them burrows to, uh, to, to know what company that burrow belongs to. Now the Black Hoop brand tobacco company no longer exists. No longer exists. I'm going to say that was probably back in the 1910s, 1920s, way before my time. You know. A tobacco crop was a proud crop. They was always proud and glad to get it set. And then they was really proud and glad to, to get it harvested. And then they was really proud and glad when it went across the scales and, and got their check. <laughs> so it was actually a proud crop. <laughs>